my career actually is very simple. I spent around like 10 years in China building a, a social network uh, platform called Run Run. So it's like a, a Chinese Facebook. <clears throat> so I started from scratch in uh, 2004 and, and, and until like 2011, and we were listed in New York uh, with a valuation around 7 billion US dollars. And then um, after two years, I came to London and start the current company, uh, Emotech. So the my, my journey actually is quite simple learning. So that I kind of like spent 10 years changing um, the way how people connect with each other, which is the uh, social network. And now what we're building is um, a platform we're trying to change the relationship between uh, people and technology. So this is what we're doing now. And today, um, what I'm going to share with you guys is about some uh, uh, learning and experience on uh, building product in this uh, new era, the uh, AI era. Um, so very very quickly about the the company because actually most of my sharing is kind of based on my experience on on in, in this company which is which is uh, founded in 2015. Uh, so the main reason I call it uh, uh, Emotech is because uh, we want to make the technology more human. It's not that cold, so that you can interact with the technology more in an emotional way and in a more human way rather than just use it as a tool. Um, so. Yeah, so this is the initial of this company, but you might want to ask, like, why emotion? Um, actually, I got quite a lot of people ask about this question, but obviously this is not today's main topic because it's quite complicated. I just want to uh, uh, quote a very interesting statement from uh, Marvin Minsky. Uh, so he say, like, the question actually is just not about, like, um, uh, but an intelligent machine can have emotion, but whether uh, if without emotion can the machine be intelligent? Um, so, so this is, I mean, the point here is that um, we actually, whether the machine can have emotion or not is not important at all. It's more about whether, like, if we want to build machine or platform to provide value to uh, for people and make the uh, user experience more, uh, more engaging and more pleasurable. Um, then we need to think about emotion and etc. All those like uh, 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 important factors. Yeah. So. Okay. So yeah. So go back to the the main topic of today. So what I'm gonna talk about is um, I will kind of discuss with you guys regarding like the the differences uh, among the product from different eras, uh, such as. Let's say from uh, the night uh, from the 80s, we 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 have like personal computer and then internet, and then for uh, 2007 we have like smart uh, smartphone, and then mobile internet obviously, and then now I think the 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 hottest topic is about AI. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually show a little bit, for example. Uh, was how technology changed among like um, those eras, and also how those those changes or those new uh, technologies actually kind of bring uh, a new opportunities for building products uh, that can can serve people. And most of my experience or uh, sharing is gonna based on the product we've built called Oli. So it's a personal robot um, uh, which can proactively interact with the user based on the preferences and, and routines. And then, yeah, and also this product, actually, we, we brought the uh, history, uh, a record of uh, CES uh, within like in 50 years history. It's the, um, the first uh, product that won for Innovation Awards um, uh, so far. So before I talk about AI, I think I want to quickly Talk about, for example, from from uh, uh, PC and internet to um, smartphone and mobile internet. What has been changed? So there are actually many many new features uh, for mobile, smart smartphone, and mobile internet. Here I'm gonna just list a few like essential one. Uh, the, so the first one is actually. 
uh, portability. So, and, and another one is about uh, multi-touch. So these two actually sounds quite um, normal or, or obvious, but actually these are like two key features actually change quite a lot on people's behavior. Um, because the first one actually, um, the, uh, especially like iPhone, they managed to, to, to get a, a very like a, a device as powerful as like a uh, laptop or personal computer into a, like a portable device. So which means like people can carry it uh, with them anywhere. So anytime when they want to interact with the information and want to do, uh, do their task, they can assess it. And another one about multi-touch is because um, obviously it's, it's not easy to kind of carry the, for example, keyboard with you all the time. And But you still want to kind of interact with the system. And that's why multi-touch is so important because uh, the first one, portability, make sure, uh, enable you to kind of like have a very powerful small uh, device. And then the second one actually I enable people to uh, be able uh, to interact with the system, yeah, in a such small uh, uh, screen and size. And then this two, um, this two actually changed quite a lot. I mean, so if you can see from actually 2008, so 2007 was the first generation of iPhone, and then after that, you can see the time people spend on digital media. Uh, for example, like before, it was dominated by uh, desktop and laptop. And then up to that, gradually, yeah, even I think now uh, mobile, people spend time on mobile much even more than like on laptop or, or, or personal computer. So that was the first one. And then another one you probably want to also mention about, for example, camera and uh, location-based uh, service. Um, these two actually also very important features, which actually change quite a lot on people how uh, how people interact with uh, technology and information. So the the first the first list here, this is the top ten websites uh, by traffic. So so this is for example Google, YouTube, Facebook, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And and the second list is the most popular iOS application in 2017, which is like 10 years up to the first generation of iPhone. Then you can see actually these two lists are kind of a bit different, although they still have you know, Facebook, uh, uh, et cetera. Uh, but there are actually some new names. And also, if you look further, you can see, for example, Snapchat and Instagram are two applications actually just like really uh, utilize the power of uh, a portable camera. And Google Map, also Uber. That's like how the location basis um, service can 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 beneficial for users, and and how they actually change the the, the product and functions, etc. Yeah. So this is about this is about like from from the uh, uh, PC internet and to mobile internet. And I think I'm gonna use the same logic again. Um, from, so I'm going to discuss, for example, like from the from uh, mobile and until now, like the AI. So what actually uh, um, are the new features provided by by the new um, technology and and how we can build a product differently? 